Detroit City Council handed Mayor Mike Duggan a defeat in the blight battle. Members voted down his $250 million demolition bond proposal by a vote of 6 to 3. We first told you about the decision and a push alert to your phone. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzler is live now with reaction. And what's next, Jim? And we're over here on the east side where every direction you look on this corner, there's blight. There, there, there. Look across the street there and come across the street over here, even this big building. Now this is the district of Councilman Scott Benson. He wanted this millage on the March ballot. I voted yes to support my residents and make sure that we had an opportunity to actually get some more money into our neighborhood. The Detroit City Council had heard from dozens of people for, but mostly against, putting the quarter of a billion dollar millage on the March ballot. Some council members said they needed more information from the mayor about mismanagement. There's a sense of fear that if this doesn't go forward, we won't be able to do demolitions, and that's a false narrative. There were some things done wrong the last few years with demos, and so hopefully we can see if those things were done wrong and make, make some changes, and uh, so there's a clear, transparent path. Detroit has spent a half billion dollars so far, eliminating 20,000 vacant structures in the aggressive program under Mayor Mike Duggan. City, state, and federal investigations have found mismanagement. Mayor says he's moving the program into one new department and out of the Detroit Land Bank and Building Authority to clean it up. I think uh, most of the council members uh, are expressing an opinion that's held by a good number of Detroiters. Uh, show us that you've got the controls in place and you fixed it before you put it on the ballot. And that's, you know, we're going to respect that. Mayor Duggan said the millage money would have gotten rid of 18,000 remaining vacant buildings over the next five years. Plan B is to put this on the November ballot next year. But then there's this. Not dead yet. I will wait until next Tuesday before it's officially dead. Meaning council members have until 4 o'clock next Monday to give notice that they want to change their vote. And if that happens, the new vote would be one week from today on Tuesday. So we're going to keep an eye on that. In the meantime, the mayor says demolitions will continue, but at a much, much slower pace. Right now they have only $8 million in the budget. Mm. Live on the east side, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. I guess we'll have to just wait and see what happens yeah. next week. We'll be watching. Jim, thank you so much.